Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, in practice 2, we will look at this particular question. So just take a few minutes to read the question first uh, before we continue. And at the same time, okay, once again, okay, let me just write this over here. By now, you should be, you know, pretty uh, sick and tired of me writing this, but it's good to write this at the start to remind yourself of the uh, outcome that you want. So over here, stare very carefully. The y-axis is log y. The x-axis is log x. So in this case, my big Y is log x. So, sorry, log y. So big Y is log y. And uh, big x is log x. Okay? So over here, okay, we realize that number one, this is a straight line. Okay, quite obviously. Number two, uh, we are going to use the, f the formula of a straight line to find uh to find out the answer of the for the question okay so first and foremost let me just do some side working m which is your gradient can be found using these two points take note that there's another point here just in case you are you didn't notice this that the other point is just the point of origin or zero zero so m will be four minus zero over two minus zero which is just two okay so over here we're looking for the gradient okay so using this formula of a straight line x1 okay I'm using the point 0 0 so my x1 is 0 okay and y1 since I'm using this uh, point 0 0 my y1 is 0 okay so solving this equation over here I will get log y equals to 2 log x remember your rules of logarithm this num uh, this 2 over here can be brought up to become the power of x so just in case you've forgotten that law let me just write it out for you so uh, n log a is equivalent to log a power n okay so that's the law that we're using here okay and lastly since there is only one term on each side that contains the log we can remove the log safely and say that the answer is just y equals to x squared okay okay moving on practice 2b so once again let us uh, read the question so below shows a straight line graph and we want to express y in terms of x so first and foremost using the two points we can find our gradient so let me just do some side working over here to show you the gradient so gradient will be 2 minus 4 2 minus 4 over 6 minus 2 okay which is just negative half okay so over here okay over here we're looking for the gradient so over here okay we found that gradient is negative half so once again we're going to sub a point into this uh, equation or this formula okay the point that we're using will be uh, 2 comma 4 so you realize that in this case my y1 is 4 my x1 is 2 okay I do the substitution so once again after some algebraic manipulation you will get to the point whereby xy is equals to negative half x plus 5 so to express y in terms of x all we need to do is to divide by x throughout and if I do that okay I will get into the I'll get to the eventual outcome that y equals to 5x minus half okay and this is your this is your answer for practice 2b okay I hope I'm not going too fast and uh, this practice is hopefully still manageable for you okay I'll see you in the next uh, practice